Hello and welcome. It is the uh, 22nd day of May 2017. Good morning and welcome. I have the uh, Bitstamp Bitcoin chart from BitcoinCharts.com. And I've drawn in a couple trend lines, an uptrend line and an exact rate of ascent, a parallel line within the resistance, which has been the subtrend since it uh, broke free from the 1650 handle on the 16th of May. So a one week rally and well, well before this date, WebBot talked about 2300 as an interesting point before it loses several hundred points. And well, I'm going to remove the trend line because obviously if this breaks to the upside, well, that's going to go big or pierce quickly above it. Maybe that's what might happen is it attempts to break this trend line to the upside and goes up to about 2300 anytime for that matter. And then it's going to sell off from that point, getting a fake break above an uptrend line. Very much a common play where you have a trend line like this and on the upside breaking through it and then bringing yourself back in. Same with the downtrend line when you break below it and then break hard, fast, well below it. Oftentimes you can have a reversal either back within the band or a decent reversal. And in this case, what I'd be talking on the failed move is some sort of, again, big rally that comes up to, we'll say 23, whatever in the area. And then a quick, sharp pull off within this band. And then next thing you know, it has whatever type of several hundred point drop. And I've already mentioned two key areas, a 1750, 1800, 17, somewhere in that range. And then again, down towards the uh, 12, 1300 range as the key points as well as far as just remove the trend lines in general now each situation you have your uptrend of a pullback nice move higher pullback nice move higher pullback nice move higher pullback and now breaking this it looks like maybe if it's going to keep this trend maybe the next breakout will have a normal pattern up to 23 that might resolve itself maybe into tomorrow on the 23rd or late tonight, but somewhere maybe around this area of amount of periods to get to such. And then it'll be interesting to see how well that number is because to consistently go out and actually make these number calls and be as accurate, then it's, I'm going to look at it with uh, a little more than just a grain of salt. So yes, I will be... Uh, shorting the uh, gulp, I guess, I guess technically shorting the Bitcoin chart at the area of high 22s into the 2300 area. I'll be doing that by buying a US dollar tether and then looking to uh, basically get back into Bitcoin breaking below 2000 gulp again because uh, shorting or selling anything to buy back significantly cheaper on any amazingly run bull market item that has full expectations of extreme gains. Well, with those extreme gains, you could oftentimes get burnt thinking, okay, okay, let's sell at 23. And then either it's not resistance, it goes higher. Maybe it goes to 23 and you just get a whole bunch of this uh, sideways, maybe you get a pierce to like 21, but you didn't buy there. And, and next thing you know, it's higher. Those are definitely ways where you say, yep, yeah, 23 is a top. I'm going to sell. And that's not a winning play. If say this is 23, this is say 2000 and your uh, highest buy order is 1850 then that would be a losing play. Even though you're right about the top, you got to get back in if that is your call for just a just a move, basically. Just a way to try to increase your Bitcoin total and definitely not suffer a huge defeat in portfolio value if you do see a number go from well, where we are now and then maybe later on uh, while trading at the lower end of this area in the 17, 1800s, maybe... Uh, 
later in the month or at the start of June. Anyway, thank you for tuning in and take care.